Okay, uh, once again, good morning class or batchmates. I am uh, once again uh, Daryl F. Nitor, as you can see. I am the youngest of all experience of all you guys here. So, how are you doing? It seems like uh, we're getting uh, driven by the flow of the river, like we're getting a uh, call this thrill or something. Come on, cheer up. Cheer up. Okay, let's just proceed to the main topic. My topic is about master list. My topic learning outcomes. At the end of the session, you students shall be able to identify your duties and responsibilities in case of emergency as per Sola's master list. Let's just have a background of Sola's. I mean, I mean uh, master list. You can see the regulation regarding master list in SOLAS Chapter 3, Regulation 8 and 37. Regulation 8 is all about the uh, application of SOLAS, I mean application of master list on board. And Regulation 37 is about the <coughs> uh, application of, I mean, uh, requirements of uh, master list as per SOLAS. Okay, our learning, our learning outcomes is to identify our duties and responsibilities. How are we going to identify? Of course, first we need to know where are the locations of our master list on board. On board. As per SOLAS, Regulation 8.3 states that master list and emergency instructions complying with the requirements of Regulation 37 shall be exhibited in conspicuous place throughout the ship, including the navigation bridge, engine room, and crew and accommodation spaces. So these three are the main uh, locations of of uh, you call this one of our master list on board. It should be there as per law. So, conspicuous places, any ideas among you guys? Makikita. Yeah. Easily seen. Easily seen. So, it does not mention here anything or regarding alleyways. In alleyways, it, we can easily see the, uh, our master list for that purpose. <clears throat> okay, so let's proceed to, the, to our main point here. I, I'm going to show you a sample of the master list. Because uh, we also have experience on board, 
where uh, the GPS is not contented with what the duties listed on the master list itself. So we were able to discuss about it and uh, we changed it. Yeah, he can change that one because it's not it's, it's, it's not a uh, you call this one it's not a uh, violation of SOLAS. So you can add or something, but you cannot remove something. You can just add for the contents, but you cannot remove as according to the requirements of the SOLAS. Okay. Mm. of the master list. We know where we get the master list. We know where to find. Yes. We know the locations on board. And we know how to identify our duties and responsibilities on board in case of emergency. So, guys, this is the time. If you have any questions or doubts, ask. Um, so, what's yes. the difference between the master list and station B? Station B. Oh, they are just the same. There's this. There's this. I think this is called the station B, right? Yeah, or must be. Yeah, it's called the station B. Synonyms. It's the same. Yeah. It's it's something American or English. That's right. So, uh, for example, uh, you have like a uh, 26 crew, right? Yes. What if another crew, or for example, a superintendent came on board and yeah. he has to go with you with your voyage? So, so, what kind of uh, duties can you... If it's not written on the SMS, hmm. the master can, can any time put what will be his duties and responsibilities on board. Sir, uh, I have a question. Yes, How about if there's emergency? Then the one person is disabled, <coughs> cannot move. I mean, he got accident. Mm -hmm. Then who will replace him to do his duties? For example, a low wing light boat. Mm -hmm. Then the guy is... The man who Sorry. is assigned to the... To the lowering of the light bulb or yeah. the accommodation other is cannot perform his duties because he got injured. <clears throat> for, for that question, sir, we have always extra guy on board. I just only bring this one when I go. I just only do this. There are some extra guys. You know, in actual situation, you cannot think of that. If he's unable to do that, anyone can do that. He knows. Or our senior office officers can know knows that. I think what he means is uh, you can only perform your duties because it is there. Yeah. Now, the, the, this, this, uh, the responsibility that is stated there is your main responsibility, but you can do other things. Yeah. You can also do the responsibility of the other guy if he is not there. But make sure that you are also doing your responsibility. That's the explanation on that one, I think. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I noticed in the master list, there is a substitute. I think that's the uh, one that's talking. There should be a substitute. Uh, yeah, there, there, there is a yeah. Yeah, answer that. Secondary. Yeah. Anyone? Secondary yeah. Okay, okay, I think, think um, um, the if there's still responsible for everything, uh, uh, what is happening? Sometimes it depends on the company's SMS. So, you know, we have the car, uh, like when in the firefighting, we have the, the uh, commanding team, or sometimes we call it bridge team, support team, backup team. So, in, in company format, sometimes, uh, did you have the team leader? Is it identified according to the master list and there is a sub leader? There must have been a, so in case there is a sub leader, is is incapacitated to the performance. The sub leader will take over the duties as the team leader. I think. Okay, that's all. I hope you know where to find. As per our objective, you know where to find your duties and responsibilities on board in case of emergency. Yes. Keep calm. It's only the end of my presentation. Thank you.